Hello everybody and welcome back to another video by Blissful Techno Health. This video, I'm going to show you guys the journey I went on building my fires on. As a lot of you already know, I already showcased this character in my character build video for her. I'm very pleased. She's a lot of fun to play. But man, I'm telling you, I had some of the best freaking luck while I was building this character. I couldn't believe some of the stuff that it dropped for me. Um, legit, like seriously, 100%. And it was just so much fun. I'm going to show you guys kind of the journey here. I didn't record everything because I honestly wasn't even planning on recording any of this until like I was a lot of the way through. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, and for starters, we're going to do some trivia here for you guys. What is the highest rune that can drop from the Hell Hellforge? Ding, ding, ding. That's right, folks. A gold rune. Let's go. <laughs> Legit, though, I was freaking stoked about that forge drop. Like, come on. And then, right after that, on my way to the uh, Chaos Sanctuary, I found a pretty solid little small charm. Twelve more life, and I would have been rich. So... This, unfortunately, is not recorded, but this was great because when I was waiting for a guy to join into a, a game to make a trade with me, not this guy now on screen that I'm about to trade with, but a different guy, while I was waiting for him to join, I ran out into the blood moor just to slay some guys because I was bored, right? While I'm waiting and I'm slaying these guys, one of the first wow. drops is an um rune from a carver or whatever the freak they are out there, those little dudes. And I was just like, what the crap, dude? This is so sick. So I used that um rune to trade with this guy here, um, one of my skiller grand charms. Pretty solid freaking deal, man. So I really needed to build my infinity, but I didn't know where to find a mal rune. You know the best place i just played around for a while just trying to find one trying to figure out what to do so i figured you know let's go spam the countess and this was my first countess run not bad a lem rune and a key of terror on the first run and i kid you not i'm not joking this was like six or seven runs in I felt so lucky because I was literally planning on running her for a while before something like a Malrun would drop. I don't even know if I... I think I might have found one other Malrun off of her at one point, at some point, but... Oh man, talk about some good luck. Nice. Now that base is going to be tricky. Oh, let's go. Okay, now I'm just going to show you guys a few honorable mentions. Uh, then after these, I'm going to show you the crazy, crazy good finds that I got. That is so weird, because literally in my mind, I was just um, thinking about how when I traded for one of these a long time ago. Sick. That, that was some cool finds tonight. Dude, if this was a freaking towels, okay, I'd be like, what? I mean, it's not the best item in the game, but it's not every day that you find a Mavina's bow either. So I was pretty stoked. I wasn't recording when this dropped, so I turned I turned on record quickly so I could record at least picking it up and unidentifying it. Just a meh heaven's light, but still kind of fun. Please be something solid. Nature's peace. I'm so pissed I wasn't recording. Ah! I've never found one of these. A gargoyle's bite winged harpoon. I've never, literally never even heard of this. And it just dropped. I'm running uh, terror zones. But this gargoyle's bite winged harpoon. And I'm just like, okay. 
<laughs> okay, guys, now get ready for a freaking sick drop. <laughs> I was literally, like, stunned. I literally didn't even know how to react to this. Okay. Be a good one. I got no freaking identifiers. Okay, let's head to town. Gosh, okay. I mean, I, I've never even had one of these, to be completely honest. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I found one of these. Let's go. 27 to cold. Boom! That's good. Lightning resist, 37. Let's go. Fire resist, 27. Ah! Fire resist is low, but... That's freaking great lightning resist, and that's good cold skill damage. Okay, so this is the last drop that I'm going to show, and this is actually right after I had built my infinity. I was just kind of playing around, seeing how much it was helping my character out, and then this happened. Great night! <laughs> wow! Whew. Let's go! <laughs> Yo! I don't know what the defenses are supposed to be on this. 127 seems high. And this is just me trading for my base for my infinity. Pretty solid base in my opinion. Okay, and now this is my first time ever making an Infinity. I've been playing Diablo 2 since it came out, before the expansion, like Diablo 2. And obviously I didn't play it, you know, most of my adult years. I played it when I was a kid, started playing it again last year, but I was just really, really nervous and excited at the same time. You guys, I'm just freaking nervous to make this because it's so much... It's so expensive, man. <sighs> okay, dude. Bear Mal, Bear Ist, here we go. <laughs> Please be dope. Bear Mal, Bear Ist, Infinity. What do we get? Ah, oh, the lighting resistance sucks balls. Dang it. That sucks. But. I don't really care about it because this is for this character. I mean, I could pop this on, obviously, other characters and move it around. Okay, well, there we have it. I made my infinity. Well, guys, there you have it. That was my journey on uh, building this character. I had some pretty solid drops. Uh, I finally have an infinity built. Um, you can see why I felt so lucky during this entire process because I had some crazy finds. Anyways, if you want to see the build, uh, if you haven't watched it, be sure to go watch my other video um, on the actual build itself and what I'm wearing and kind of showcase it. Uh, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel for future content. I do other games as well and just all kinds of stuff. I don't know. Just subscribe, like, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace out.